So why are you guys here anyway? Are you trying to find the most <laughs> pathetic, lost, non-musical connected band in the world? Well, you may have some claws. Hi, my name's Mike Travis. My name's Jessica. My name's Josh Whitmer. I'm Troy Bennett. Brian McNamara. Donna Cambio. James Budd. Paul Carroll. The name of the band is Wyatt. Wyatt's a rock and roll band. It's a three guitar, um, keyboards, and female background singers kind of sound. You may say, it sounds an awfully lot like Leonard Skinner. We'd like to think of ourselves as a low rent version of that. Yeah, we're definitely more than bandmates. We, we come together as, as friends. From rehearsals to gigs or whatever we do, it, it feels like an event. Uh, I'm definitely at the point of no return now. I've sacrificed uh, just too much. It doesn't say Southern Rock on the divorce uh, agreement, but um, it could. We can talk and start with Joe Kelby, who's uh, our guitar saxophone player. <laughs> We call him Seven Kid Joe because he um, has seven children. He's divorced and currently my roommate, Mike Travers. Um, he's um, he's a musical purist. <laughs> First time I picked up a guitar, it felt like what I should be doing. And around eighth grade, I heard the solo to Heartbreaker from Jimmy Page, and I realized that man rips. Michael's uh, just recently uh, been ejected from his house due to his love of his guitar, and um, he went back to get some of his things, and uh, his wife was on the phone with her mother at the time. His wife explained to his mother, he came back to get some of his things. He didn't take a pillow or a blanket, he just took his guitars. So, like we have in a Wyatt lyric, I ride alone. Jim Budd, uh, J James McSmooth, he's the shredder in the band, man. Essentially, I am living the dream because, you know, I'm maintaining my professional career and my musical career. So, you know, I, uh, I'm getting the best of both worlds. Why music? Uh, it was instilled in me from the earliest age. You know, my, my grandfather was a uh, one-handed violin player. Paul Carroll, our piano player. He's a composer, we write songs together. He's, um, he arranges background vocals. He actually, uh, he cleans us up. My name is Paul Carroll, number one custodian or sanitation engineer at Russell Electric. I'll be playing, you know, till the day I die because really it's what, you know, what I want to do, you know, more than anything. Uh, you know, there's so many different uh, options that I have. Noons, uh, I teach piano. I have about 30, 40 students a week. So uh, these two jobs go hand in hand. I teach probably, uh, number one reason, well, the, the good feeling I get from seeing the kids move on, uh, but really, the money. Josh is another educated musician, educated engineer. He's a phenomenal guitar player. He's playing bass for us currently. My name is Josh Whitmer. We're here at Kramer Productions, my illustrious place of work. I'm officially an audio engineer here. Hopefully someday, this will all be in the past as I move on to music glory. Wyatt is just straight ahead Southern Rock. Interesting collection of musicians. Jim and Paul, definitely more like the 80s hard rock thing. I think they've been mullet free for about a year, but just, just barely. Troy, the drummer, um, he's, the, he's the fire. <laughs> I'm Troy Bennett, and uh, this is my current position at Phoenix Electric. I've been purchasing agent for about five months. I was working on the shop floor and that kind of, um, you know, I was doing a lot of heavy work, and um, I came down with tendonitis, and I didn't know what to do. I was scared. I took about three months off from here, and I just kind of laid, laid low. I couldn't really play. I was playing with one hand with a cast on the other one, you know? And, uh, you know, I still try to stick it out and play the drums and, and be there for the band. We have Donna and Jess. <laughs>
I'm Donna Cambio. I'm the shift supervisor here at this lovely pharmacy. I'm a singer. My biggest inspiration is probably Pat Benatar. Sing as often as possible. Just sleep, eat, and breathe it. Then Jess, man, what a vixen. If she never sang a note, she would be helping us immensely. <laughs> financials, I do um, retirement accounts, that's, I adjust them. When you're a backup singer, you can't just stand there. You gotta keep dancing. So you dance, 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 I'm like, Jesus, you know, you like do the guitar solo, do the drum break. Who do you think's the ringleader? Uh, Brian McNamara. We all answer to Brian. Brian is the ringleader and we're his, his pawns. He's the official cheerleader for Wyatt. I like him, I think he's wicked funny. <laughs> I'm just happy another day in the streets, man. I'm gonna kill a hooker. <laughs> My name's Brian McNamara. We're here at Cranium Productions, a large uh, corporate event-based company. My role is primarily uh, staging large corporate events in convention centers and large hotels throughout the country. What I write about is all the Ds. It's, it's drugs, debauchery, decadence, divorce, um, deprivation. This I Ride Alone song is probably our favorite song right now, and that's, um, that's um, that's the disturbed childhood, now I'm a biker type of vibe. I wait for the call last minute from him, and you know, then I jump into, you know, I jump into the Wyatt m frame of mind. Welcome to Rockland, where we practice, the home of Wyatt. Hey, Taco Hall. It's really simple. I've been trying to do the same thing for like 20 years in terms of you know, what I want to do musically. Music comes first, and it, it has to because if you, if you give up any of that, it's like giving up a piece of you. It's giving up a piece of your soul. I think I'm going to take the music with me to the grave. I always want to play music. I don't think it's an age-specific thing for uh, people like me where, I mean, we're not about trends. or It's, it's certainly not a boy band. I'm pretty much in it for good, like even if it never comes to fruition that I'll, you know, be playing for a living. Hopefully we'll be doing some bigger um, stadiums and things, hopefully. And for me, like, the, the dream uh, gig is, would be more of an opening act for, you know, our heroes. The plans for the future, are, um, we have a video shoot in a few weeks here. Um, we're finishing a record, and then we're going to uh, record a live set to have, like, a, a, comp a collection of our, our current set. And who could possibly want to see or hear that? Um, it's difficult to gauge. I know it'll be big with my mom and uh, probably some relatives. Uh, well, yeah. I'm definitely dreaming the dream. When I start living it, you'll know. I'll be a happy man. Does this look like the dream? <laughs> this is the nightmare to get to the dream. Dreaming the dream. We're just dreaming it. Living it. This isn't living the dream. This is hell.